What time is it? It's prayer time. Today, we gather here to delve into the profound and infinite wellspring of divine grace. Grace, the unmerited favor of God, is a gift freely given to all who seek it with open hearts. It is through grace that we find redemption, forgiveness, and the boundless love of our Creator. In our journey through life, we often encounter moments of darkness, trials, and tribulations. We may stumble and fall, feeling unworthy and lost. Yet in those moments, it is crucial to remember that divine grace is ever present, ready to lift us up and guide us on the path of righteousness. The Apostle Paul beautifully captures the essence of grace in Ephesians 2, 8, 9. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. Here Paul reminds us that grace is not something we can earn through our own efforts or deeds. It is a gift bestowed upon us by God's unfathomable mercy and love. Divine grace is inclusive and knows no bounds. It reaches out to the sinner, the outcast, and the brokenhearted, offering comfort, healing, and redemption. Just as the prodigal son was welcomed back with open arms by his father, so too are we embraced by the divine love that knows no limits. But what does it mean to truly embrace divine grace? It means surrendering ourselves fully to the will of God, trusting in his plan even when we cannot see the way forward. It means extending grace to others as we have received it ourselves, showing compassion, forgiveness, and kindness to all. Moreover, embracing divine grace requires humility, acknowledging our own shortcomings and weaknesses. It is in our moments of vulnerability that we experience the transformative power of God's grace as it works within us to mold and shape us into vessels of His light. As we reflect on the magnitude of divine grace, let us be filled with gratitude and awe for the unmerited favor bestowed upon us. Let us live our lives as testaments to God's grace, sharing His love and mercy with all whom we encounter. Let us delve deeper into the profound implications of embracing divine grace in our daily lives. Firstly, embracing divine grace calls us to let go of the burdens of guilt and shame that weigh heavy on our souls. Too often we allow our past mistakes and shortcomings to define us, forgetting that through grace we are offered a fresh start and a new beginning. As it says in Psalm 103:12, as far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Let us release the shackles of the past and step into the freedom that grace offers. Secondly, embracing divine grace compels us to extend forgiveness to others, just as we have been forgiven. Jesus teaches us in Matthew 6, 14, 15, For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Let us be instruments of reconciliation and healing, demonstrating the transformative power of grace through acts of forgiveness and reconciliation. Thirdly, embracing divine grace empowers us to live lives of compassion and empathy, recognizing the inherent dignity and worth of every individual. In a world marked by division and strife, let us be beacons of light, shining the love of God into the darkest corners of society. As it says in Micah 6, 8, He has shown you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Finally, embrace Embracing divine grace invites us into a deeper relationship with our Creator as we surrender ourselves completely to His will. In moments of doubt and uncertainty, let us trust in the promise of Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Let us draw near to God with open hearts, knowing that in His presence we find strength, comfort, and eternal peace. Embracing divine grace calls us to cultivate a spirit of humility recognizing that we are all recipients of God's unmerited favor. As it says in James 4, 6, God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. Let us therefore humble ourselves before the Lord, acknowledging our dependence on His grace and mercy and extending grace to others in turn. Embracing divine grace empowers us to overcome the grip of sin and temptation in our lives. As it says in Romans 6, 14, For sin shall no longer be your master, because you are not under the law, but under grace. Let 
us therefore live as free and redeemed children of God, empowered by His grace to live lives of holiness and righteousness. Embracing divine grace calls us to live with hope and confidence in the promises of God. As it says in Titus 2, 11, 13, for the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people while we wait for the blessed hope. We getting ready to pray, but before we begin to pray, please do like comment and share this powerful message with everyone you know. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification button so you can be notified when we upload more powerful messages like this. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we gather before you today, we are humbled by the magnitude of your divine grace. Your grace, O oh Lord, is beyond our comprehension, reaching down to us in our brokenness and lifting us up in your love. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the gift of your grace freely given to us through your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the forgiveness and redemption that we find in him, for his sacrifice on the cross that has made us whole. Lord, we acknowledge that we are undeserving of your grace, yet you lavish it upon us abundantly. Your grace knows no bounds, extending to the depths of our souls and covering us with your mercy and compassion. Today, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude and praise, rejoicing in the immeasurable gift of your grace. Help us, O oh Lord, to live lives that reflect the transformation Formative power of your grace, showing kindness and compassion to others, forgiving as you have forgiven us. Father, we pray that your grace would continue to work in our lives, renewing and transforming us from the inside out. May your grace empower us to walk in obedience to your will, to boldly proclaim the gospel to those around us, and to live lives of gratitude and praise for all that you have done for us. We ask for your grace to be upon us now and always, guiding us, sustaining us, and leading us ever closer to you. May your grace be our strength in times of weakness, our comfort in times of sorrow, and our hope in times of despair. We lift up this prayer to you, O Lord, trusting in your unfailing love and mercy. May your grace continue to work wonders in our lives and in the world around us to the glory of your holy name. Father Lord, we confess that there are times when we fall short of your glory, when we stray from your path and choose our own way. Yet even in our weakness and our failings, your grace remains constant and unwavering, reaching out to us with arms of love and forgiveness. Today, we ask for a fresh outpouring of your grace upon our lives. Pour out your grace, O Lord, like a gentle rain that refreshes and renews us. Wash away our sins and our shortcomings and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Father, we pray that your grace would be evident in every aspect of our lives, in our thoughts, our words, and our actions. May your grace fill us with compassion for others, with kindness and generosity of spirit, and with a heart that seeks after you above all else else. Help us, O oh Lord, to live lives that reflect your grace to the world around us. May we be beacons of your light in a world that is often dark and troubled, shining with the love and grace that you have shown to us. We thank you, Lord, for the immeasurable gift of your grace, and we commit ourselves afresh to living lives that honor and glorify you. May your grace continue to work in us and through us, drawing others into your loving embrace. Father, Lord, we thank you for your boundless grace that knows no limits or conditions. Your grace reaches out to us in our brokenness and sin, offering us forgiveness and redemption through the sacrifice of your Son, Jesus Christ. Today, we humbly ask for a deeper understanding of your grace, that we may fully grasp the depth of your love for us. Help us to comprehend that there is nothing we can do to earn your grace, for it is freely given to us as a gift of your love and mercy. Father, we pray that your grace would permeate every aspect of our lives, transforming us from the inside out. May your grace soften our hearts and open our eyes to the needs of those around us, that we may extend your grace to others in their time of need. Grant us, O Lord, the strength to walk in your grace each day, resisting the temptations of the world and striving to live lives that are pleasing to you. Help us to rely on your grace as our source of strength and comfort, knowing that you are always with us, guiding us and upholding us with your righteous hand. As we go forth from this time of prayer, may your grace go before us, leading us in the paths of righteousness for your namesake. May we be vessels of your grace, shining your light into a world that so desperately needs to experience your love and mercy. Father, we pray for those who are struggling to accept your grace and forgiveness. Open their hearts to receive your love and mercy and help them to understand that your grace is sufficient for all their needs. May they experience the freedom that comes from surrendering to your grace and find peace in knowing that they are loved unconditionally by you. Father, we thank you for your divine grace that sustains us each day and covers us with your love and mercy. Lord Jesus, we are grateful for the gift of salvation through your sacrifice on the cross, which is the ultimate expression of your grace towards us. Holy Spirit, fill us afresh.
afresh with your grace that we may walk in your ways and live lives that honor and glorify you. Father, we pray for a deeper understanding of your grace that we may fully comprehend the depth of your love for us. Lord, help us to extend your grace to others, showing kindness, forgiveness, and compassion as you have shown to us. Holy Spirit, convict us of our need for your grace that we may humbly come before you seeking your forgiveness and mercy. Father, we pray for those who are struggling to accept your grace into their lives, that they may experience your love and forgiveness in a powerful way. Lord Jesus, we lift up to you those who are burdened by guilt and shame, that they may find freedom and redemption in your grace. Holy Spirit, empower us to walk in your grace each day, resisting the temptations of the world and living lives that are pleasing to you. Father, we pray for your grace to abound in our families, our churches, and our communities, bringing healing, reconciliation, and renewal. Lord, help us to trust in your grace, even when we cannot see the way forward, knowing that your love never fails and your mercy endures forever. Holy Spirit, guide us in our relationships that we may be quick to forgive, slow to anger, and abounding in love towards one another. Father, we pray for your grace to be evident in our worship, that we may come before you with hearts full of gratitude and praise for all that you have done for us. Lord Jesus, you are the source of all grace and mercy. Help us to abide in you that your grace may flow through us to others. Holy Spirit, help us to be vessels of your grace, sharing your love and compassion with those who are hurting and in need. Father, we pray for your grace to transform our communities, that they may be places of peace, justice, and reconciliation. Lord, we lift up to you those who are suffering, whether from illness, loss, or despair. May your grace be their comfort and their strength in their time of need. Holy Spirit, renew us with your grace each day that we may be filled with your joy and peace even in the midst of trials and tribulations father we pray for your grace to be evident in our workplaces our schools and our neighborhoods that we may be salt and light in a world that is hungry for your truth and love lord jesus you are the good shepherd who lays down his life for his sheep may your grace lead us beside still waters and restore our souls that we may dwell in your house forever holy spirit help us to be agents of your grace sharing your love with all whom we encounter regardless of their background or circumstances. Father, we thank you for the promise of your presence with us always, guiding us, comforting us, and filling us with your peace. Lord Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Help us to walk in your truth and to experience the fullness of your grace each day. Holy Spirit, fill us with your wisdom and understanding that we may discern your will and follow your leading in all that we do. Father, we pray for your grace to abound in our nation, that we may be a people who seek after righteousness and justice, guided by your grace and truth. Lord Jesus, you came to bring freedom to the captives and to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. May your grace set us free from sin and bondage, that we may live lives of joy and peace in your presence. Holy Spirit, help us to walk in humility and obedience, submitting ourselves to your will and trusting in your grace to sustain us. Father, we lift up to you those who are in positions of leadership and authority, that they may govern with wisdom, integrity, and compassion, guided by your grace and truth. Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. May your grace shine brightly through us, illuminating the darkness and bringing hope to those who are lost and in need of your love. Holy Spirit, fill us with your love and compassion that we may be instruments of your grace, reaching out to those who are hurting and in need of your healing touch. Father, we pray for your grace to be evident in our homes, that they may be places of love, peace, and joy, where your presence is felt and your name is honored. Lord Jesus, you are the bread of life. May your grace nourish our souls and fill us with your peace that we may be satisfied in you alone. Holy Spirit, help us to walk in unity and harmony with one another, bearing with one another in love and seeking the good of others above ourselves. Father, we thank you for the gift of your word, which is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. May your grace illuminate your truth for us that we may walk in obedience to your will. Lord Jesus, you are the resurrection and the life. May your grace bring new life and restoration to all who are broken and weary, that they may experience the abundant life you have promised. Holy Spirit, renew our minds and transform our hearts, that we may be conformed to the image of Christ and bear fruit that glorifies your name. Father, we pray for your grace to be evident in our churches, that they may be places of worship, fellowship, and discipleship, where your name is exalted and your truth is proclaimed. Lord Jesus, you are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. May your grace be our anchor in the storms of life life, holding us steady and reminding us of your faithfulness. We decree and declare that the divine grace of God surrounds us, 
sustains us and empowers us to live victorious lives. But by the grace of God, I am what I am and his grace toward me was not in vain. According to 1 Corinthians 15, 10, we decree and declare that the grace of God is our source of strength and courage in times of trial and adversity. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. According to Hebrews 4, 16, we decree and declare that the grace of God abounds in our lives, filling us with peace, joy, and hope. And God is able to make all grace abound to you so that having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. According to 2 Corinthians 9, 8, we decree and declare that through the grace of God, we are forgiven, redeemed, and made righteous in his sight. For by grace, you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God. According to Ephesians 2, 8, we decree and declare that the grace of God transforms our hearts and minds, enabling us to live holy and blameless lives. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation for all people, training us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions, and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in the present age. According to Titus 2, 11, 12, we decree and declare that the grace of God empowers us to overcome sin and walk in obedience to his word. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. According to 2 Corinthians 12, 9, we decree and declare that the grace of God is a gift freely given to all who call upon his name, regardless of their past failures or shortcomings. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. According to Romans 10, 13, we decree and declare that the grace of God empowers us to extend forgiveness and mercy to others, just as we have received from him. Be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. According to Ephesians 4.32, we decree and declare that the grace of God enables us to love unconditionally and to show compassion to those in need. Above all, keep loving one another earnestly, since love covers a multitude of sins. According to 1 Peter 4.8, we decree and declare that the grace of God empowers us to fulfill the purpose and destiny that he has ordained for our lives. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. According to Ephesians 2.10, we decree and declare that the grace of God breaks every chain of bondage and sets the captives free. For freedom, Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery, according to Galatians 5.1. We decree and declare that the grace of God brings healing and restoration to every area of our lives. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. According to 1 Peter 2.24, we decree and declare that the grace of God empowers us to walk in unity and harmony with our brothers and sisters in Christ. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus. According to Romans 15.5, we decree and declare that the grace of God empowers us to persevere in faith, knowing that he who began a good work in us will bring it to completion. And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. According to Philippians 1.6, we decree and declare that the grace of God enables us to stand firm in the face of adversity, knowing that his grace is sufficient for us. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. According to 2 Corinthians 12, 9, we decree and declare that the grace of God empowers us to walk in humility and dependence on him, recognizing that apart from him, we can do nothing, but he gives more grace. Therefore, it says God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. According to James 4, 6, we decree and declare that the grace of God empowers us to overcome every obstacle and to walk in victory for greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. According to 1 Corinthians 15, 50, 
67. We decree and declare that the grace of God releases us from the bondage of sin and enables us to walk in righteousness and holiness. For sin will have no dominion over you since you are not under law, but under grace. According to Romans 6, 14, we decree and declare that the grace of God empowers us to be salt and light in a world that is lost and in need of his saving grace. You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. According to Matthew 5, 13, 14, we decree and declare that the grace of God empowers us to run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God, according to Hebrews 12, 1, 2. Father, we thank you for the privilege of coming before you in prayer, knowing that you hear our cries and answer according to your will. May your grace continue to abound in our lives, guiding us, sustaining us, and transforming us into the image of your Son, Jesus Christ. In his precious name we pray, amen.